Hello everyone, you are welcome to New Face Entertainment where you will get reliable and authentic news that will keep you informed and entertained. I say a very big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe and if you are here to subscribe, please click the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for notifications so you will always get alerted anytime we publish latest news or any of our other uploads. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to New Face Entertainment. Here we have a news from the Punch newspaper. More youths may join Boko Haram, says Khan. But I want to have this that more youths from Lagos and any other um, city in Nigeria that are banning Okada and um, Napeb are going to um, bring us to the fact that they may have to join Boko Haram. Yes, that is not what the Khan said, but that is where we're extending it to. Let us um, take a look at the report you're going to see the reason at the end of this report i'm going to analyze analyze it for you and show you the reason why more youths this more youth they were talking of about is not limited to what why well, the Khan president is saying but it is beyond what the Khan president is saying so let us see the report the christian association of nigeria has warned more youth will be ready and willing to join Boko Haram in the future if the government fails to tackle the security challenges facing the country. The group cited the recent case of a National Youth Service Corps members adopted by Boko Haram said to have refused to return home after payment of a ransom for his release. Khan's National Director Legal and Public Affairs Quam Corps Samuel was reacting to the arrest of a suspected suicide bomber at Living Faith Church in Kaduna. Kwamko wondered why the police were more concerned with the name of the suspected bomber than the crime he attempted to commit. He said, I am not surprised that Nigerians, especially the loud-mouthed Islamic fundamentalists, are interested in knowing and spreading the fate of the suspect than the crime. Whether the man is Mohammed Sani or Nathaniel Samuel, Nigerians know the religion and tribal groups that are terrorizing them, particularly the Christians. Many Christians have been abducted and converted by Islamic terrorists. Besides, some of us are convinced that if the government continues with the careless handling of the security situation in the country, I foresee that more youth will be ready and willing to join Boko Haram in the future. Most Nigerian youth now know that when you join Boko Haram, you are lucky and you are lucky not to be asked to detonate bomb. One is paid by them handsomely when you are eventually arrested. The federal government will come to your help and provide a rehabilitation platform with the purpose of providing training and resources for you to start life afresh. If you are very lucky, the federal government will recruit you into the army with the increasing unemployment level, which you will not want to dare that. For the avoidance of doubt, we have reliable information that the suspect who has been confused about his real name is actually a psychiatric patient and was holding fireworks instead of a bomb. God chose to expose those supporting terrorism in Nigeria by this singular act. If you want to know those who are directly or indirectly supporting terrorism in Nigeria, look out for those who are projecting the faith of the suspect on the matter and have not been heard at any point condemning the act of terrorism in most parts of Nigeria. You will find out that they didn't sympathize with Christians and the family of those beheaded recently by Boko Haram. Like we have said, it is an act of irresponsibility for any government or Nigerian leader to spend time fighting those lamenting the act of insecurity instead of preferring solutions, preaching to the international community against the cry of citizens instead of telling them what they have done and comparing how many people were killed between the former and the present regime. 
let the president Buhari take seriously his responsibility of protecting Nigerians by providing the need, the needed welfare to the security personnel on duty and overhauling the security chiefs. Yes, sir, I quite agree with you, but this is just only um, one of the hinges um, to the door uh, that is opening us to a peaceful country. The second hinges, which is equally or even far more important, is the root cause. The root cause, the, if the youths don't have job, they don't have good payment, because it is not just a loan to have NYC uh, for one year that you're going to pay them peanut. because I just can't imagine how an individual will survive with 30,000 Naira, uh, which is the minimum wage uh, the federal government is offering, to them and then think that is just starting. Just imagine what would that do in that person's life. Let's say the person wants to rent a one year uh, a room, it has a room, a room apartment, anywhere in Nigeria will be nothing less than 30k. That is one month gone. So, what about the mattress? What about the bed? Is he going to bring all of that from their home that probably they just have only one mattress? If you don't know for your information, there are some families that are living in one one room five six seven uh, member family living in one room they have only just one mattress so take for instance if a, a, a an NYC cop um, um, copper is coming from that um, angle how would he be able to uh, take the mattress that they are using in their home to uh, to, to, to service. That is impossible, okay? So what are we looking at here? We're looking at the government being insensitive. The government is not concerned about what is happening. The government is the one that is going to be supporting this. Uh, so when the government need to consider all of this, what are the welfare that a common Nigerian have? What are the welfare that a uh, somebody that has a job would be a skilled somebody that is a graduate or somebody that is a semi-skilled like we have the carpenter the mechanic what are the welfare that those people are enjoying that will prevent them from looking for um, some illegal or diabolic or evil uh, means of making money because it is not just only that we need to provide security, we need to overhaul the security chiefs and put all that in place. Yes, that has to be in place, but if you just like, that would be like fighting from the after effect. You're fighting the after effect. Let us fight the cause because the cause is, if you fight the cause, there will be less need to invest in the uh, the the after effect like overhauling the security chiefs and getting more personnel into the security agencies you would need less of that if the welfare is well handled so what me and uh, we are suggesting is that in the case that for instance in lagos now we have keke and uh, the okada ban and we know or we've been hearing from so many different quarters like most uh, some of these people that are doing this job you know they came from um let's um niger or mali that has not been confirmed but uh, sometimes when you meet some of these people you ask them where are they from you say are they from meduguri they say no are they from kano they say no and somehow you just measure are you from Niger, they say yes so they are coming from Niger. they are coming from mali we guess uh, and if the government should hear about that, what are they doing? Are they trying to find out from these people? How do they come into the country? How can they really, what is their motive? Why are they here? And how can they integrate them? Well, I'm not talking about throwing them back up home because when you throw them back home and um, these people they have the motive of just coming to make a livelihood make money here they send home just as we nigerians are going all over the world to make money we send back home if that is their primary motive and they are not committing any crime why send them away train them put them in line 
this is what you need to do. Don't go against this. Don't go against that. And when once they know that, they comply because they know this is not their country. They're going to comply. Not by overhauling them, sending them back. And when you send them back, they know that they're making money, at least money from, um, from Nigeria or Lagos. And now that you're sending them back, they're not going to have anything. What do you think is going to happen? It is going to increase. They're going to join Boko Haram that is going to promise them money. And this time around, they won't just be going to Boko Haram, be joining Boko Haram for because of the money. They'll be joining Boko Haram because of the hatred that we have created. So we should really be waiting for that time bomb. I'm telling you, because these people, they already know the terrain. They've been here for months, for years, and now you're sending them back. If they should go join this Boko Haram, ha, they are coming back, not just to come out. They're coming back for revenge. So we should always weigh our consequences. We should always weigh it. Look at matter from the root cause and not looking at the after effect. Yes, I quite agree. We need to overhaul the security chiefs and get more uh, personnel uh, into uh, the, 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 the security house. But that is not what is uh, should be the primary focus now. The primary focus, of course, you're gonna take that because they are, they are, they are so much. There are so many of them now, causing a lot of havoc, a lot of um, uh, terrible things in the country. So we need to tackle that. But at the same time, we should not forget the cause because if you are fighting at the top and some are creating more loopholes, because I can bet you that this is a great loophole that is happening in Lagos, and I will begin to hear that uh, Ogun State is planning to, to abduct the same. Ogun State, if Ogun State abduct the same, then or your state abduct the same, and all the Western states abduct it, ha, it's going to be really terrible. I'm telling you, just, it's just a way of saying that I want to make everywhere insecure for ourselves, because Amotekun won't be able to handle this. This is not a question of Amotekun. Mateku is just something that we don't even know how the outcome is going to be like, okay? So, my own preferred solution is that let's take a look at the, um, as, uh, the, the cause. The cause. How do we handle it? You don't send these people all away, okay? The NYC, Copper, at the end of the one year, you send them away, you know, into unemployment. So what would they do? Like he said, they may want to join Boko Haram, okay? Good. Then the Malians or Nijay that the Lagos are banning their major source of livelihood, what's going to happen? They're going to join Boko Haram, isn't it? Good. So which one should we look, pay more attention to? Providing the welfare, providing good job and good salary to whoever is working for government, both government and private. And I think um, checking into the identity of those that are working in Lagos, right? get them registered, get them known, where is their family, where are they really from, what are the background, check all these and check their motives. Some time to time, the security and the community could also tell like, yeah, these are good people, these have good intention and all that. So if somebody wakes up in the morning, picks up the bike, go drive the bike, comes back, goes to mosque, pray, you know, does his normal duty, just as we Nigerians are going all over the world, you know, we're in Germany, U.S., any country, there's, there's hardly any country in the world that Nigerians won't find Nigerians. What are they doing? They're hustling. So if we now say all these countries should send them back home, what would they come to do? And if there is a, 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 a thriving crime that is pain, definitely they're sending back, them back home to come and join. So if we send hundreds of thousands of these people back home, when are they going to join? Definitely, they're going to join what we don't want them to join. Yes, that's it. So I uh, would like to hear your comment in the comment section. Please do leave that, and I would love to leave, um, hear your own view. Thank you for watching. See you some other time, and stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.